I've seriously been so excited to make this video because today we're checking out something that's absolutely perfect for those of you that want to try out PC gaming before buying all that hardware or for you current budget PC gamers that can't afford a baller gaming PC right now. Let's have a look. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today we're going to be talking about a game streaming service that most of you probably haven't heard of yet, and that's Shadow. I've been using Shadow for the past week or so with my desktop, my laptop, and even my phone, and I've been dying to show this one to you guys. Before we jump into it though, I want to quickly introduce the sponsor of today's video, and that's Dev Mountain. Dev Mountain is a 13-week class for all of you aspiring iOS and web developers out there. The 13-week class focuses on providing you only the skills that you actually need to go out there and start your new career in coding they don't waste time with a filler curriculum like at a traditional college. They also feature student housing at no extra cost, a variety of different classes including UX design and QA testing, and most importantly all of this is available at affordable price. Head on down to that first link in the description to learn more if you're interested in getting that quick boost you need to start your new career in coding and design. So if you've been subscribed to the channel for a bit then you probably already know how game subscription cloud services work. I've made four videos on Nvidia's GeForce Now at this point, but for those of you that don't here's a quick explanation. Explanation. In a nutshell, you're basically running a superpower gaming PC that's in the cloud and then you stream that to your device as if it were your own gaming PC. Shadow's data centers are packing some serious hardware which claims to provide you GTX 1080 performance, an 8 threaded Xeon processor, 12 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, and your very own 256 gigabytes of storage. You can use this service on almost any operating system such as Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and iOS, and you can even use any device that you want such as a desktop, laptop, tablet or even your phone. Where things get different between Nvidia's GeForce Now and Shadow is that instead of like Nvidia's GeForce Now where you can only launch games, you actually get 100% complete control of your PC with Shadow so you can do really anything you want with it. Whenever you first fire up your Shadow Virtual Machine, you're greeted with Windows 10 installation settings as if you just installed a fresh copy of Windows 10 on this PC. Once installed, you then have access to a completely fresh Windows computer and you can start to download gaming platforms like Steam and Origin and you even have to open up GeForce Experience to download the drivers for your video card. I actually really like that you can install GeForce Experience because then you can use Nvidia's share gameplay recording software and record high quality gaming footage even if you don't have a powerful gaming PC. Before jumping into any games, I also decided to check out what specific hardware my virtual machine was running in the data center and here you can see that the processor is a 3.2 GHz Xeon E5 2667 and the actual graphics card is an Nvidia Quadro P5000. With access to a fully equipped system like this, not only can you play every single game at 1080p and 60fps, but you can also edit and render videos, compile code if you're a programmer, or pretty much anything that you want that requires a baller PC. If you're only interested in gaming on this thing, then I got you covered because that's what I personally tested the service for, and I started to install some games that I personally wanted to try such as Fortnite, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and Forza Horizon 4. Here I noticed that my download speed to the virtual machine was insanely fast, so I actually went to speedtest.net to test it out for myself. I was happily surprised that you actually get full gigabit download speed and 100 megabit bit per second upload speed which is just insane so you can download games super fast with the shadow service. After all the games were installed the last thing to do was to test the one thing that we're all worried about with these game streaming services, the latency, and I'm happy to report that it was actually miles better than what I thought it would be. Playing fast paced twitch shooters like Fortnite and Call of Duty were actually way better than I expected. Yes there's obviously a small amount of lag no matter how good your internet connection is, but for a casual gamer like me I actually had no problems playing these online shooters and the latency was tolerable. In the shadow settings, you actually can limit your bandwidth so that it doesn't spike so much, and Shadow recommends that you have at least 15 megabit per second download speed at home to use their service. Their data centers are located in New York, California, Amsterdam, and Paris. Before wrapping up this video and before you go test this out for yourself with that first link down in the description, I wanna talk about a couple more features and issues that I have with this service. First up is security, and this is definitely something to take seriously with these kind of services. Shadow says on their website that your personal 
personal 256 gigabyte hard drive is secure and that they don't even have access to your data, but I would still personally only recommend logging into things that have two-factor authentication. I definitely wouldn't recommend you logging into your banking websites or anything like that, not just on Shadow, I'm talking about any virtual machine that you're using in the cloud, and I would also set up your gaming accounts like Steam and Battle.net to use two-factor authentication as well. One more feature that I do want to mention is that I really like how this virtual machine doesn't shut down if you disconnect or close the app on your personal device. For example, if I fire up Forza Horizon 4 on my desktop and want to continue playing on my Android phone, I simply close the app on the desktop, open it up on my phone, and the virtual machine is exactly where I left it, which is pretty nice if you ask me. Overall, I would highly, highly recommend checking out this shadow service if you're thinking about jumping into PC game but you don't want to buy all that hardware at first, or if you're not rocking a great gaming PC and you want to play with some much more baller hardware. The shadow service costs a flat rate of $35 a month, discount code is in the description by the way, and yes, that may seem high at first, but that only comes out to $420 a year, which is actually only a third of the hardware that you're actually renting. There is no free trial of the service, which is kind of a bummer, but you can always buy the first month and ask for a refund if you're not happy with it, or if you find out that your internet connection isn't good enough. Well, that wraps up my review of the Shadow Streaming Service. Now, feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet, and definitely hit that subscribe button because that Athlon 200GE video that you're all requesting is coming very soon. You don't want to miss that video.